You are God's creature designed for glory. You are not designed for shame. Returning back in Jesus' name, I rebuke the devil. God is a God of mercy. When you understand that God is a God of mercy, you are a creature of intention. God created you intentionally. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are highly favored. You are created by a good God to live a good life and to enjoy the good things of life. I therefore declare this season your season for undeniable goodness in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. I am your host, Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center in Arlington, Texas. I want to appreciate God for your life today, for tuning in to this broadcast. The good hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall surely be blessed in the precious name of Jesus. Now, Moment of Empowerment is a revelational and prophetic broadcast that is designed to empower you towards taking your rightful place in destiny. God created you and he placed you on the earth to occupy. That's why Jesus said, occupy till I come. So there is a place for you to occupy. There is a place of lifting for you. There is a place of manifestation for you. There is a place of goodness. There is a place of influence for you. But you cannot take your place until you are empowered. And that's one of the things that this broadcast is designed to do for you, to empower you spiritually, to empower you matrimonially, to empower you financially, all around empowerment for destiny fulfillment, and that is what you are in for today. I know very well that in the name of Jesus, the power you need for your next level is coming upon you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you once more for tuning in to today's broadcast. I sincerely appreciate your calls. Thank you for all your comments. And for everyone that has been supporting in any area, we want to appreciate you. Thank you for your all-round support. Thank you for your donations. May the good Lord continue to bless you and increase you on all sides in the precious name of Jesus. Now, I'd like you to call somebody. I want you to be a blessing to someone. Get someone on the TV right now. Uh, if there are people you know that they need encouragement, you know someone anywhere, if you know they need uh, a touch from God, anyone you know needs a divine visitation, anyone you know that needs supernatural turnaround of stories, get them on the station where you are watching me right now. Tell them that it is time to be empowered. Moment of empowerment is on, and God is set to lift you up. God has a word for you today that will turn your life around in the precious name of Jesus. Listen to me. God's word is a testimony activator. God's word has the capacity to stir up undeniable testimonies when it is connected with by faith. When you connect with God's word by faith, it provokes testimony. And someone is watching me right now. This is your season for undeniable testimonies in the precious name of Jesus. God's word is a testimony activator. In Act of Apostles chapter 14 and verse 3. Act of Apostles chapter 14 and verse 3. The Bible says, long time, therefore abode day. Speaking boldly in the Lord. What were they saying? He gave testimony unto the word of his grace. So God is committed to giving testimonies unto the word of his grace. And the word of God is the word of grace. It is the word that empowers you with the grace needed for the race of life. God's word supernaturally activates testimony. No matter the circumstances and the situation, there is a solution in God's word. I pray for you today that God's word will locate you. 
God's word will find you out. In the name of Jesus, there shall be a supernatural release of your long-awaited testimony. In the name of Jesus, this word will heal you. This word will open doors for you. This word will bring you into uncommon relationships and connections. In the precious name of Jesus. By the word of God coming your way today, it will turn your world around and enforce a change of story in your direction in the precious name of Jesus. So get somebody on the station, call a friend, send a message, get the family together because God's word is coming your way to stir up a testimony in your direction in the precious name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Now right before we go into today's teaching, I'd like to invite you to the Empowerment Center. Now the Empowerment Center is a non-denominational a multicultural, world-based church. Our commitment is in the Word of God. We are committed to ensuring that destinies are empowered towards becoming who God wants them to be, get what God wants them to get, and get to where God wants them to get to. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how life has treated you. I can tell you that at the Empowerment Center, God is raising people. God is impacting lives. God is influencing destiny, bringing people from where they used to be to where he desires them to be. And that is what you are in for at the Empowerment Center. We are committed to caring for you. We are committed to loving you. And I want to see you at the Empowerment Center in any of our services this Sunday or on Thursday. We hold services on Thursdays, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Thursdays. And on Sundays, we have our services 10 a.m. to 12 noon on Sundays. And you can be part of any of the services. The address is right on the screen scrolling. And if you need more information, you can call the number right on the screen and we will always attend to you. You can also call in for prayers. You can call in for encouragement. Call in at any time, at any day. We will be there to answer your questions by the Spirit and be a blessing to you. But more than all, I want to see you. Let's come together, celebrate Jesus. I want to fellowship with you. I want to, I want to see you come to God, come to a place of empowerment where things will never remain the same for you come experience the power of God, the presence of God, and the goodness of God at work. It is your turn for a testimony in the precious name of Jesus. Now, in case you are just tuning in, this is Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. And Moment of Empowerment is a revelational and prophetic broadcast that is designed towards empowering you, towards taking your rightful place in destiny. Now, today, I shall continue our teaching series on when God is with you. And this is going to be the third part in the series, and it's going to be the conclusion as well. When God is with you. And in our previous broadcast, we have discovered that God desires to be with his people. God wants to be with you. God wants to be for you. God wants to live in you. Now, the, one of the main reasons why Jesus came and it was named Emmanuel, meaning God with us, is God proving to the world that I desire to be with you. I long to be with you. God loves fellowship. God loves to be with his people, walk in their midst, walk with them. We also saw that if God will be with you, then you must be with God. God wants to be with you, but for God to be with you or for it to show that God is with you, then you must be with God. Because if you are not with God, then God cannot be with you. Now, we also saw in our scriptural teaching that certain things happen when God is with you. There are certain things you enjoy when God is with you. We saw that when God is with you, he delivers you. God is a God of deliverance. God is a God of liberty. In fact, the Bible says, wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are the temple of God. So when the Spirit of God dwells in you, you enjoy absolute and total liberty in the journey of life. Anyone watching me right now that you are under captivity, you are under any form of bondage, I command right now that you are loose in the name of Jesus. I command your deliverance. I enforce your liberty by the power of God in the precious name of Jesus. We also saw that when God is with you, you enjoy favor. You enjoy favor. 
When God is with you, God gives you favor, even where favor ought not to come to you. Because the Bible says, it surrounds us with favor like a shield. When God is with you, you enjoy uncommon favor. And that is going to be your lot. Now today, we shall continue by exploring some other things that you enjoy when God is with you. Now, if you have your Bible wherever you are, please open with me to Acts of Apostles chapter 7. Acts of Apostles chapter 7. And we look at scripture from verse 9 to 10. That has been our anchor scripture. Acts chapter 7, verse 9 to 10. And the Bible says, And the patriarch moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt. But God was with him. The patriarch sold him. But God was with him. And I did say that it doesn't matter what people are doing against you. It doesn't matter what is after you. If God is with you, you, might, you are more than a conqueror. If God is, if you can maintain God's presence with you, maintain God's place with you, you are more than a conqueror. And the Bible says in verse 10, because God was with him, look at what he did for him. The Bible says, and he delivered him out of all his afflictions. All his afflictions, regardless of the numbers, when God is with you, he delivers you. Number two, the Bible says, and he gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. God gave him. God gave him because he was with him. Now, number three, the Bible says, and he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. He made him governor. So what do you stand to enjoy when God is with you? Number three, when God is with you, he positions you for promotion against all odds. He positions you for promotion regardless of the opposition. Come on now. When God is with you, he positions you for promotion no matter what resistance is being raised against you. We saw from the text that we just read, Acts 7 verse 10, that because God was with Joseph, he gave him favor and wisdom. And the Bible says he made him governor over Egypt and all his house, from prison into palace and from palace to governor. Now, it is not done like that. But because God was with him, when God is with you, he enhances your progress in life. When God is with you, his presence positions you to enjoy uncommon elevation. Because God was with Joseph against all odds, he rose up to become the governor. In a strange land, in a land where he had nobody, in a land where he, was, he had been falsely accused by his master's wife. Yet, because God was with him, he became a governor. Someone is watching me right now. What is your entitlement? What is your position? That which is yours, that you have been denied of, I hear from the realm of the spirit. There is about to be a release right now. In the name of Jesus, the promotion you are due for that has been in that, a release is coming right now. In the name of whatever is sitting upon your promotion, whatever is blocking your elevation, we subdue them all today in the name of Jesus. So God was with Joseph, and because he was with him, he moved him into becoming a governor, all by the ministry of favor. I saw from scripture that the same land where Joseph has served as a slave, he ended up as a significant force. The same land where he was a slave, the same land where he was falsely accused, he became a force to be reckoned with. I believe that even the wife of his master, Potiphar, that wrongly and falsely accused him, must have come to him to beg for food. Because the Bible says, Pharaoh made him to become the head of all. The, the country was absolutely in his care. He was totally in control. He was totally in charge. No matter what has gone out of control in your life, when God is with you, he brings them into control. He brings them under subjection. I saw also that the same land where he had been in prison, he became a possessor of good things. The same land, someone is watching me, and the same place where you have suffered, the same place where you have been denied, the same place where you have been restricted, you are going to be set up for good. You will be promoted in the name of Jesus. I activate your supernatural promotion in the precious name of Jesus. Listen to me. When God is with you, he promotes you. Why? Because promotion comes from him. Promotion doesn't come from the south. 
It doesn't come from the east. Psalm 75 and verse 6 to 7. The Bible says promotion does not come from the east. It does not come from the south. It does not come from the west. But God is the judge. He puts down one and he set up another. He puts down one, come on now, and he set up another. So promotion comes from God. Psalm 75 verse 6 to 7. There, I'm praying for you right now. God, Bible says God puts down one and set up another. That means something must come down for something to go up. I need to say that again. Something must come down for something to go up. Because God was about promoting Joseph. I saw from scripture that all the, all the, all the, all the sorcerers, all the magicians, all the people that could interpret dream for Pharaoh, they, they, they could not do nothing. All because God was said to promote his son because he was with him. When God is with you, he always shows up by promoting you even where you should not experience anything like promotion. In a land where he was a stranger, in a land where there was a case against him, he never contested for any position, but God being with him, put him in a place where he ought not to be. I'm praying for you, even things that ought not to be handed over to you in the order of goodness by God been with you, they shall be delivered to you in the precious name of Jesus. Whatever must come down for you to go up, I command them to come down. I command every obstruction to come down for you to go up. Every opposition, come down for you to gain promotion in the name of Jesus. Whatever is against you, every handwriting, every ordinances, every decision, every counsel, oh my goodness, every resolution that is against you, I command all of them to come down for for your promotion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. So God is a God of promotion, and he promotes his people when he is with them. Now, what else do you enjoy when God is with you? Number four, when God is with you, you enjoy divine safety and security. Divine safety and security. God is a God of perfect preservation and security. When he is with you, he preserves you. When God is with you, he secures you. In Psalm 127 and verse 1, the Bible says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build. Except the Lord watch over the city, the watchmen are awakened in vain. So except the Lord keeps you, except the Lord protects you, no matter what is around you, you are not preserved. God is the protector. When God is with you, he preserves you. When God is with you, divine security and safety becomes your portion in life. It's because I saw that when God is with you, whatever cannot touch God cannot touch you. Whatever cannot tamper with God cannot tamper with you. When God is with you, he makes you to become the apple of his eyes. His presence with you always secures you from every form of assault and attack. When God's presence is with you, he secures you from every form of assault and attack. And that was the revelation David had. In Psalm 23 verse 4, David said, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. When you are with me, evil cannot come to me. When you are with me, evil is far away from me. When God is with you, whatever cannot touch God cannot touch you. That was what David was saying. He said, because you are with me, I, I fear no evil. I, I, I got no fear for evil because evil cannot come near you. You are too good to avoid evil. The Bible says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I'm about passing through the valley of the shadow of death. But I fear no evil. Why? Because when God is with you, it preserves you. It secures you. I might be passing through. Because when you see a shadow, there is a substance. So when David is saying here, yeah, uh -uh, even though I pass through the, the shadow of death, the valley of the shadow of death, and I have so gone down, I, I'm passing through the valley of the shadow of death, there is a substance of death there. But I fear no evil. It doesn't matter what it is, I fear no evil. Maybe you are passing through tough time. You might be passing through difficulty. But I have a word of assurance with you because God has spoken. He said he's with you. He is with you. When you pass through water, I said, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't overflow you. When you pass through fire, I said, I'm going to make sure you are not burned down. Because I am with you to bring you out. God is with you in that situation. Maybe you are watching me in prison. God is with you if only you will stay with him. I have a word of encouragement for you. Don't give up yet. Don't throw in the towel. God is with you. 
It might not look like it. You might be passing through the valley of the shadow of death, but fear no evil because when you are with God, God is with you. When God is with you, evil cannot come for you. Evil cannot come near you. Evil cannot overcome you. I want you to understand that from this day, because God is with you, you are not going down. Because God is with you, you are not going to be shut down. Because God is with you, you are coming out from that situation. I fear no evil. All I'm looking into is the table you have set before me. I want you to walk in the consciousness of God's presence with you. When if God is with you and you are not walking in the consciousness of his presence, you will be, you will be afraid of evil. And what you are afraid of, you are trapped. So David knew better. I said, no, 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 because thou art with me. When you are with me, I have no curse to fear evil. Because I know if I fear evil, I will be attracting evil. So don't fear evil. Be walking in the consciousness of God's being with you. Be with God. Stay with God. Connect with God. Live with God. Stand with God. Then I can tell you something. God is going to be with you. God is with you. You are coming out from that situation. God is with you. That financial pressure is not going to surmount and subdue over your life. God is with you. That you are going to foreclosure right now. God is with you. You are coming out from it gallantly. You are coming out with testimony. Oh, God is with you. Maybe your son is in the hospital. Your daughter is in the hospital. You are passing through an uncommon situation. I have a news for you. He said, when you pass through fire, I'm going to go there with you because I'm not going to allow you to go down. I'm bringing you up. Why am I with you? I'm with you to secure you that the fire does not burn you when they threw Daniel into the den of lion God was with God went with him into the den of lion when they threw the three Hebrew boys into the, the fire God went inside there with him he went with them in it you might be passing through it but you are not going that is not going to be the end you are only passing through because there is a breakthrough ahead for you there is a table set before you you will surely get there you will surely lay hold of the possession in the precious name of jesus glory be to god now right before i continue i, I desire to send this audio cd message to you uh, that is entitled discerning and defeating satanic strategies now I, 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 i've been saying this right now that for any donation for the donation of any amount to the ministry this week or any amount any donation of any amount because one of the strategies that the devil does is to make us lose the consciousness of the presence of God with us. The devil always wants us to feel that God does not love us, that God cannot be with you. And when you discover his strategies, you can subdue and overcome it. So I want to send that to you for any donation of any amount to the ministry this week to advance the kingdom of God. And it's a four-pack CD message, and I want to send it to you. You can call the number on the screen to request for it or to get more information. Or you can mail in a check to the address on the screen of any donation. We're going to mail it to you. Or you can also go online to our secured website and you can make a donation on there. You can call the number or mail a check to the address or go online on the website. We shall surely acknowledge it and we will send the CD to you. It will be a blessing to you in the precious name of Jesus. God bless you. Now, are we are still considering when God is with you. And we, have, we, we saw that when God is with you, he delivers you, he gives you favor, he promotes you, he preserves you. And finally, when God is with you, you enjoy divine help. When God is with you, you enjoy divine help. To lack help is to lack speedy progress. When help shows up, destiny advances. When help is missing, destiny is stranded. One thing you enjoy when God is with you is divine help. Because God is a God of help. He's our helper. God is God's help, when it is actively at work in your life, sets you on high. And when God is with you, you don't miss enjoying his help. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 to 14, God promises to be with you and to help you. Isaiah 41, verse 10 to 14, he said, Fear thou not, I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. When God is with you, he strengthens you. Yeah, I will help you. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Verse 11. He said, Behold, 
all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. So these are the things you enjoy when God helps you. And when God is with you, he helps you. He said, I will be with you. I am with you. I will help you. I am with you. I will help you. He said, they shall be as nothing. They that strive with thee shall perish. Verse 12, thou shalt seek them and will not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee, they shall be as nothing as a thing of the past. For I, the Lord, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help you. Fear not, I will help you. Fear not, I will help you. So when God is with you, he helps you. And when God helps you, you cannot come down. When God helps you, you enjoy resources from heaven. When God helps you, he helps you to triumph. He helps you to win. He helps you to overcome. He helps you to get what you cannot get by your struggle. In this season, I see God helping you, sending help to you from all corners and angles. In the precious name of Jesus, help and helpers will no longer be scarce in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God wants to be with you. He wants to live with you. He wants to walk with you. He wants to abide with you. And I know somebody is saying, I desire to be with God also. I know God wants to be with me. How can I maintain his presence with me? How can I sustain and activate his being with me? I've showed you times over and again in the broadcast how you can activate God's presence with you. Number one, we have discovered that if God will be with you, you have to be with him. James chapter 4 verse 8, draw near to him and he will draw near to you. Number two, we saw that if God will be with you, you must be a committed worshiper. Because for such the father seeketh, God is looking for the worshipers. And if God is going to be with you, you must be a lover and a doer of his word. A lover and a doer of his word. Be connected with God's word because in the beginning was the word, the word was God with God, and God was with God was the word. The beginning God, the word was with God, God was the word, and the word was with God. The beginning, the word was. So God's word is God's person. And when you connect with the God with God's word, you connect with God's presence. So be committed and be a lover and a doer of God's word. When you always consistently obey God, you attract his presence with you. And I want to challenge you to connect with God, live in God, live with God, never depart from God. Get into the presence of God. If you have left church, go back to the church. Go back to the presence of God because you have all things to gain when God is with you. I know you have been blessed. I know this teaching has been a blessing to you and you shall surely have a testimony in the precious name of Jesus. I desire to see you and have you come fellowship with us at the Empowerment Center this Sunday. Let's celebrate Jesus together. I want to see you. Let's come for a section of empowerment. The address is on the screen. Call the number. You can call in for prayers. And if you have a praise report of what God has used this broadcast to do, let me hear from you. I desire to hear from you. Send me a mail. Write me. Write us or call the number or you can go on the website and drop a comment. It is well with you in the precious name of Jesus. God's hand be upon you. God's favor be upon your family. As you this week is declared the week of help, week of blessing, uncommon and unusual releases. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you. Amen.